In this video, we're looking at how clouds form in the atmosphere. So this is part of meteorology and atmospheric science. And we're going to delve into the beauty and science of clouds and how they form. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So initially, let's discuss what a cloud is. A cloud is a mass of water droplets, rain droplets, that are suspended or is suspended in the atmosphere at a certain altitude based on atmospheric conditions. For example, wind, humidity, temperature, and whether it's a stable, unstable atmosphere, and also the amount of material available to form the clouds, which is going to be water vapor. Evaporated water vapor contain latent heat that is going to rise up with adiabatic and lifting air, air mass or air parcel, and condense at a certain altitude, at a certain temperature and pressure, and create these amazing clouds that we have on this planet, which come in all shapes and sizes and create beautiful patterns in our sky. Now the formation of a cloud really happens, occurs at the LCL or the lifting condensation level, which is also the temperature at which clouds form, which is called the dew point, D-E-W. And this temperature reflects a certain atmospheric pressure above the Earth's surface. And this LCL is a certain altitude above the surface in which the clouds start to form. So a lot of the cloud types no matter the altitude, which is a low cloud, a medium cloud, or a high cloud, it's going to have a base, which is generally flat. Now, some clouds don't have flat bases, but the majority do, because that is showing you where the water vapor goes through a phase change and condenses into liquid water from the gaseous state. Now, this is due to the temperature at which that occurs, which is called the dew point. And then above the LCL and above the dew point, you have this liquid rain droplet, which is absolutely tiny. The average rain droplet that first condenses is one hundredth of an inch in diameter. So it's tiny, and these are very small with small mass. Therefore, it stays suspended at that altitude due to winds and the air masses being lifted based on the atmospheric conditions. And as the wind is going to move these tiny rain droplets around and being suspended, they are extremely sticky, this water molecule this rain droplet and when it bumps in and collides with other neighboring rain droplets that are tiny they start to join together and there's accretion and mass increases and the average rain droplet is going to increase by a million times its size to get to a point where it is between 2 to 5 millimeters or 0 0.1 to 0 0.25 inches in diameter whereby it's big enough to be influenced by gravity and it can no longer be suspended in that cloud, the massive cloud, and it will fall as precip. So the cloud is the accumulation of these rain droplets and you can see the cloud based on the density and concentration of the water droplets and how the incoming solar radiation, the light, the radiation is going to be refracted and reflected off these water droplets to be able to see the cloud in general. So water vapor, you can't see unless it's in very high concentrations like steam off a boiling pot. But if it's in smaller concentrations and it's spread out across the whole atmosphere, generally you can't see water vapor until it condenses at the LCL and dew point and turns into a cloud where it can change the light radiation and you can see it through light refraction. And as the cloud grows bigger and more condensed with water droplets, it's going to block more sunlight that's going to pass into the clouds on its way to the surface and block a lot of the light going through. Therefore, the cloud appears darker in shades of gray and even black in certain situations. 
So we know what a cloud is and how they form. However, the rain droplet itself, the initial phase change from water vapor into liquid water as a rain droplet that's extremely small in diameter, needs a little helping hand. It's not just pure water that's going to condense. There needs to be a catalyst, a element to the atmosphere that's going to help and assist the phase change and help the water condense around a central point and that is called a cloud condensation nuclei or ccn now these nuclei denote something very very small like a nucleus something very small a particle that's going to enable the water droplet to condense easier now, these nuclei or these particles are all over the place and they come from various sources, both in the atmosphere and on, on the surface and land, both of the ocean and over the terrestrial continents and land, is aerosols. Sea spray is one, pollen, dust, sand, volcanic emissions with different gases and particles of, of rock, also the burn of fossil fuels can produce particles of different sizes, both PM 2.5 and PM 10, based on the diameter of those particles. And they can all play a part in assisting the water vapor to condense at the dew point and LCL into, or through that, th that phase change, into liquid water to create those tiny rain droplets that begin the formation and accretion of these clouds in different types and different altitudes both low-lying clouds, medium or mid-level clouds, and the high clouds. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.